just didn't cut me. I'm following him to the parking lot. These are short examples of road rage. Let me explain what road rage is because evidently people don't know what it is. What road rage is is an aggressive or angry behavior by a driver of an automobile or of an automobile or any other vehicle that you know is on the road. Such behavior includes rude gestures, verbal insults, deliberately driving unsafe, or thinking of or threat in a threatening manner. Um, also, it, it leads to altercations, assaults, uh, causing causing theft, or well, not theft, but causing damage, and can result in injury or even death. And that's an extreme case, which it seems like there's been a lot of those going on here lately. And I and just to explain, now it would appear that in Fairfax, Virginia. Uh, Mr. Cena was going down the road. Mr. O'Brien cut him off. Uh, he follows Mr. O'Brien to a parking lot. Now, listen, he followed him to a parking lot. Got out of his car, went face to face with him, and punched him. Got back in his car and drove off, thinking that was, that was all. That wasn't all. Just a few short hours later, Mr. O'Brien calls 911. And uh, they sent someone out, they sent an ambulance out, and they found him unresponsive. In other words, he, he was unconscious. So they take him to the hospital where he dies 10 days later. 10 days later, people. And what the uh, autopsy said, it was from head trauma. From where the guy, what they're, what they're believing is from where the guy punched him, and he hit the asphalt. So naturally, the cops found this guy. They got they got him in jail. Uh, they had him for murder, but they've dropped it down to uh, I think it's involuntary manslaughter. Either way, the most he's going to get is 12 months. That's the max he's going to get right now for this guy's life. 12 months in jail for this guy's life. Either way, it doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, what uh, and that's not the point. You know, the point is a man's life got lost over stupidity. That's what I'm talking about. You know, where is love in this world? You know, evidently a lot of us is not even showing it. You know, we can't even respect people on the road. You know, the man probably didn't even mean to cut him off. You know? Anyway, uh, one of the daughters, the daughter to the victim, you know, she said that, you know... You know, she she believes her dad died for no reason, and th and she's right. He did die for no reason. You know, it, it's crazy. Why why would you even why even go there? You know, and you know you think that's an isolated incident. It's not. <laughs> Listen to this. February fifteenth in UK, a man is beat to death in the middle of the road. He's beaten to death. For road rage. Another one. January 6th. Man shot to death from road rage. January 31st. Southern Pennsylvania. A man shot to death from road rage. It would appear that maybe, you know, I think they need to, uh, I don't know, may, maybe they need to have some kind of class whenever you go get your license about, you know, controlling your temper, maybe. Okay, February 3rd. In Houston, Texas, a man gets into an argument with a guy over road rage. Man goes to his truck where his grandkids are, pulls out a gun, goes, shoots the man in the jaw. Listen, he shot the man in the jaw, gets in his truck, and drives off. But evidently, he done it right there at his uh, sister's house. The kids go in, called 911. After her granddaddy had drove off, I mean his daughter's house, after his granddaddy had drove off and waited by the body while the cops come. Wow. They waited by the body of the man that their granddad shot in the jaw. 
Man, I don't know about you, but I, I don't see doing that to any child. Doing it right in front of them. You know, that's crazy. You know, aggressive driving, including acceleration of... Well, let me put it to you this way. AAA done a survey. And in the U.S., there are 300 cases of road rage. Usually ended up in serious injury or death. 1,200 people were in this uh, survey. And it went on for six years. They're saying that the ages of road rage ends up between, well, usually is around 33 years old. That's what the cases are. And it's 96.6% of men with road rage. Man, this is something. This this is really crazy. Now, they gave a list of what road rage is. is and, you know, I've given you some. I'm going to read off on what some of the ones that they gave. Um, blowing a horn. Excessively blowing a horn. Tailgating. Cutting, cutting off or stopping someone from, from moving. In other words, you know, uh, blocking somebody's car. Um, accelerating to high speeds. Flashing lights. Rude gestures. Um, verbal abuse. Hitting other cars. Man, hitting someone's car. Um, threatening to use firearm or deadly weapon damaging property man people where where's this coming from you know why would you even want to do that to someone why i mean they if someone cuts y'all sometimes it may be by they probably didn't even see you and you're going to kill them or you're going to hurt them this is crazy you know, I'm, I'm hoping that people share this video and, and like this video. And, you know, I, I'm thinking that maybe anger management needs to be in uh, driving school or something. I mean, I really don't know. I don't know what the answer is. But I know that the answer is not what we're doing now. I mean, and, uh, you know, things like this happen whenever they took uh, God out of the schools and out of the government and you know out of workplaces when they're trying to you know kick God out of the country that's when all the stuff like this started happening you know and you say well you know well, they didn't have cars back at look it don't matter they could have been in a horse and buggy today if someone's in a horse and buggy and they're out there on the road and everybody was driving a horse and buggies you would still have this you know you can't say tell me that it wouldn't cause people no matter what it is people are going to sin it could be the stupidest thing you ever seen or heard of and they're going to do it you know bottom line but uh i would like to thank you for joining me you have a wonderful day and remember to uh please be safe out there because you know you may be you you may want to take care of people but uh, as we see you you got to watch the other man thank you for joining me